Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellie, aka Alti Swift, and I upload videos about Taylor Swift related things every single week. I also wrote this book, it's called The Swifty Story. It's a collection of tales from Swifties all over the world, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, literally so many, but it details the stories of how they became fans of Taylor, how Taylor's impacted their lives, and what she means to them. It's available on Amazon in paperback and hardcover and as an ebook if you'd like to read it. But the main reason why it exists is because we're trying to get it to Taylor so we can show her how important she is to so many people. Anyway, for today's video, I am going to be doing a Swifty tag, which basically, if you don't know what a tag is, these kinds of videos were like really popular on YouTube like way back when, but it's basically just like a bunch of random questions and you answer them and it kind of like lets people get to know more about you, I guess. But these are all going to be Taylor related questions because obviously, but yeah. Without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so I just have kind of like a bunch of different questions that I'm going to go through. I don't really have like a list that I'm going off of, but if you guys want to use this video as a list and create your own videos in the future, that would be so fun and I'd love to watch them. The first question is, what was your first impression of Taylor Swift? So I was born in 2006, so I didn't really know that Taylor existed until around the 1989 era probably. That was really the first time that I ever really heard of her or saw her and I was probably around seven or eight during that time but I didn't really have an opinion on her at first. I really liked Shake It Off and Blank Space. I thought they were both super fun songs and I didn't really know that much about her. I just kind of thought that she was a singer and that she was talented and famous and I liked her songs. The first Taylor Swift song that I ever heard, the first one that I can specifically remember loving is Shake It Off because when I was in, I think, second or third grade, my best friend at the time and I, we made up a whole dance routine for the talent show to shake it off. And we listened to that song on repeat all day long. But I feel like I probably did hear something earlier before then because living in America, mainstream pop songs are gonna be played in public and on the radio all the time. But I don't really have any concrete memories of her songs. But if I had to guess, I would probably say it was Love Story or You Belong With Me or like something from Fearless era. Next one is, what's your favorite music video? My favorite music video is also my favorite song in the entire universe, which is Willow. I love Willow so much. I could talk about it literally all day long. But yeah, Willow is my favorite music video and my favorite song. Next question is, have you ever seen Taylor live? I have. My first ever Taylor Swift concert was actually my first ever concert in general, and it was April 28th, 2023 in Atlanta at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It was the best night of my entire life. I'm so grateful that I got to go. Next is, when did you become an official Swifty? I had always been kind of like a casual listener and casual fan, but I don't think I considered myself an actual Swifty until towards the end of Lover era, probably around like... I don't know, like January-ish of 2020, right around when Miss Americana came out, that was kind of my defining point and my stepping stone of, okay, now I'm a Swifty. But the whole of Lover era kind of brought me into the fandom. Next question is, what is your favorite live performance of Taylor's? My favorite live performance, this goes along with my favorite music video and favorite song, but it was at the 2020 Grammys where she did the mashup of Cardigan, August, and Willow. If you haven't seen that one, you should. It's literally so amazing. I love it so, so much. But that performance, specifically the part where she sings Willow, is my favorite performance that she has ever done. I just think it's flawless and beautiful and amazing and perfect in so many ways. I love it so much. Next question is the song you would most want to hear live. Originally, this would have been Willow, but I was fortunate enough to go to the Eras tour last year and I heard Willow because, spoiler alert, it's on the set list. But if there was a single song that I could choose to hear live, it would be Long Live because I went to the Eras tour before Long Live was added to the set list and that is the one song that I think is just definitive of us as a fandom and everything and her career and so many things. 
So if I could hear one song live, I would choose for it to be Long Live. Okay, the next one's kind of a fun one, but what would you wish for slash hope for slash want on her next album? So this is exciting because the Tortured Poets Department comes out in just a couple months now, and I'm really, really excited for it. I have no idea how it's gonna sound, but if I had to pick one thing that I would want her to try, it would be a like pop punk rock album. I feel like that would be so much fun and just so different from everything that she's done before. And I'd love to see how she interpreted it, how she changed things, how she kept her usual style, how she incorporated her lyricism, but made it like more hardcore, you know? All those things. I feel like that would be so much fun. Next question is, have you ever met Taylor Swift? I have not, but it is my biggest dream to meet her one day. And I'm manifesting that I will someday, somehow, magically. But yeah, biggest dream, meeting Taylor. And the last question for the Swifty tag is, if you met Taylor, what would you say to her? Personally, I would probably start bawling my eyes out. I would lose it but I would try and compose myself enough to give her a hug and tell her thank you because she has just changed my life in so many ways. I'm so grateful for her, for her music, for everything she's taught me. Yeah, I would just tell her thank you. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe because I make videos like this every single week and they're pretty fun, so you should watch them. Also, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and comment down below other ideas for videos that I should do. Feel free to make a Swifty tag of your own using either my questions or questions that you come up with. If you come up with more, I'd love to answer them. But yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. I love you so, so much and I'll see you all next week. Bye!